Hey guys, welcome to Mini Bike Store video blog. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to properly start uh, the Gazelle from Nitro Motors, uh, the 49cc dirt bike. So, as you know, this is a two-stroke 49cc engine. So we need to first prepare the fuel. So you need to uh, get the unladed fuel and mix it with two-stroke oil in the ratio 25 to one. Uh, in the box with the bike you get the mixing bottle it looks like this so I will show you now how to use this bottle and properly mix the fuel with petrol here is the fuel bottle you get with the uh, with the bike as you can see on one side you have uh, signs 20 to 1 and on one side 25 to 1 so you need to actually use the side where is 25 to 1 and what you do you have to fill petrol up to the line which is 25 to 1 and then on the top you will see the second line and you need to fill the two stroke oil up to that second line you need to be sure that the oil you are using it's a 2t oil When you fill oil up to the second line, then close the bottle and shake it well. And here you have fuel ready, you can put that fuel into the uh, tank. Now when you have ready fuel, you can put the fuel into the tank. Next, place the key into the ignition and turn the ignition to the right. It's on now. You have to check that the kill switch is on. So make sure it's on. Without the kill switch, the bike won't start. So it has to be well placed. You can check the off switch, make sure it's not stuck inside. Now open the petrol tap, just here. Turn it to on. Next, here is the choke, so you need to, in this bike you need to push the choke down, it locks in the down position and leave it down. Before you start the bike you need to make sure it's properly assembled, you can check our video how to assemble the bike, uh, so this is very important before the first ride, make sure everything is tight and it's assembled properly. So the bike now is prepared for the first first start. So we have checked the switches, uh, we have the ignition on, we have the petrol tap, petrol tap open, the choke in the down position, and we have filled the properly mixed fuel, so we can start the bike. Place your left hand on the throttle grip, your right knee on the seat, and pull the pull start a few times. When you pull, make sure you you twist the throttle grip a little bit while you're pulling. After the bike starts, you need to push the choke forward and the choke will uh, come back up. The choke has to be in this position when you use the bike. When you move the choke to up position, now you can start the bike again. So again, put your left hand on the throttle grip, your right knee on the seat to hold the bike and you can start the bike. After you start the bike for the first time, you need to adduce the low idle speed of the engine. So I will show you now how to do it. To adduce the engine low idle speed, uh, here you find a little screw with the spring on it. When you turn this screw into the left, it will lower the idle speed. And when you turn the screw into the right, it will higher the engine idle, low idle speed. So you need to regulate the screw and make sure the idle speed of the engine is as low as possible. This is very important for your clutch. So 
So after adjusting the low idle speed, you can start the bike and leave it running for a few minutes to uh, for engine to break break in. You will also need around uh, breaking the engine for around three tanks. So don't go on the full speed for three tanks. Let the engine break in properly. Uh, it will last you for much longer. Thanks for watching. If you like our channel, please subscribe. Uh, you can purchase this bike on our website. The link is in the description. Thanks.